This morning, calls for Governor Cuomo's resignation continue and new revelations about phone conversations by a Cuomo aide. Published reports say a top advisor, the governor's vaccine czar, may have crossed ethical lines in calls and lobbying local officials for support. CBS's John Diaz joins us live from outside the governor's east side office with more this morning. John. Yeah, good morning, both of you. And the Cuomo administration dealing with another controversy this morning. This longtime advisor not denying that he made these phone calls, but he is saying that he did nothing wrong. This morning, the sexual harassment investigation into Governor Andrew Cuomo continues to intensify, as do calls for the Democratic leader to resign after six women accused Cuomo of sexual harassment and or inappropriate behavior. It's clear that Governor Cuomo has lost the confidence of his governing partners as well as the people of New York. He should resign right now because he's holding up our effort to fight COVID. He's literally in the way of us saving lives right now. Now a report in the Washington Post makes claims that one of Cuomo's top advisors and vaccine czar, Larry Schwartz, may have crossed ethical lines, accused of making calls to county executives questioning their loyalty. Asking things like, you know, are you willing to say uh, that that uh, we should wait to see the results of the attorney general investigation? The report was co-written by investigative reporter Amy Britton. She told CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez it appears no Republican county executives got calls, only Democrats. Did they say they felt threatened? They did not feel it wasn't explicit threat, but they were wondering, you know, what if I give the wrong answer? Is the vaccine supply from my county going to be affected given the immense amount of power that this man has over a, a very precious commodity in New York at the, at the very moment? Schwartz is a longtime advisor to Cuomo, who's also heading up New York's COVID-19 vaccine rollout. He admitted to the Post that he made the calls to gauge political support, but said they were separate from his role in the vaccination effort, and he, quote, did nothing wrong. He added he made the calls on his own, not the direction of the governor. Acting counsel to the governor, Beth Garvey, said in a statement that any assertion Schwartz acted in any way unethically or in any way other than in the best interests of New Yorkers that he selflessly served is patently false. Britain says her investigation has opened a window into the pressure campaign of Cuomo's administration. Many of the people that we spoke to said that they were still publicly fearful of the wrath of Andrew Cuomo uh, if he found out that they were going to, to acknowledge uh, the calls publicly. And Governor Andrew Cuomo continues to deny touching any woman inappropriately. Meantime, President Joe Biden, he is declining to comment, you know, on the resignation of Governor Andrew Cuomo, all those calls that people are making uh, for him to resign. He says that he is wanting to wait for the results of that attorney general investigation. We are live this morning from the east side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.